Good morning. According to the Brooke County Review newspaper article out of Wellsburg, Virginia, out of a thousand teens surveyed, 42% just simply do not care about money management. I see that as a problem. As a part of the future generation, we need to make budgeting a habit to ensure our financial success. I have learned a lot about budgeting through family-owned businesses and further research due to this project. Today I'll be informing you all on the basics of any budget, the process to format a team budget, and resources we can implement our new budget. Let's begin with what a budget really is. Budget, by definition, is a financial plan to help with the following, track money, make smart spending decisions, and help our financial futures. According to the Federal Student Aid website, we must do the following, overestimate our expenses and underestimate our incomes. And to ensure our financial futures, I personally set aside X amount of dollars out of every paycheck to save up, put in my savings to plan for unknown obstacles such as parking tickets or maybe sickness. And budgeting also creates a sense of responsibility. According to Dave Ramsey in his article, How to Teach Teenagers About Money, he explains how this responsibility of tracking our money will overflow into other aspects of our lives. Now that we have covered the basics of a budget, Let's move on to how to format a budget. The process of formatting a budget requires you to do the following things. According to 10 Budgeting Tips, the web article, we need to determine our wants and our needs. And I thought this was a really cool factor. These four easy steps will teach you how to budget finally. Um, talks about the latte factor. And I see that you have a coffee right there. And I drink coffee just about every single day. And eventually that three to four dollars every single day will add up and it could be detrimental to our future wealth. I'm not trying to knock you, I promise. <laughs> um, when it comes to thinking of a new process, organization is key. And we also need to create a routine that helps with our personality. I personally, ever since I started this project, I've been saving all of my receipts from every debit card swipe in my car and it has seriously made me stop swiping as frequently because I do not want to carry around the paper receipts all day, every day. Also, with creating a budget, we need to narrow down what must come out every single month. According to six must-follow money tips for college students, we need to take into account things such as bills that come out every single month, school supplies, and food outside our meal plan, just for a few examples. And like I alluded to earlier, we need to plan for emergencies. I put aside X amount of dollars every single pay period to help with unexpected situations. Since we now know what to include in our budget, let me explain several resources we can obtain to track our new budget. Budget resources can be found just about anywhere with a quick Google search. For the more traditional budget format, you can use an Excel sheet. Many of your parents may use a checkbook register when it comes to tracking their money, and an Excel sheet is just a step above that and it may help for the swipe happy person. I personally use a mobile app called Mint.com and it tracks all of my bank accounts in one place and it gives me um, pie charts to explain what I've been spending too much on. The other day it told me I've been spending too much money shopping so I've been trying to cut back a little bit. So in conclusion, budgeting can help our financial futures. Today I've discussed the basics of any budget, the process to format a budget, especially for us teen students, and resources we can use to implement our new budget. This is a great habit to begin now to ensure our financial futures. Thank you.